Hello students, my name is Professor Scott McDermott and I'm uh, really looking forward to working with you in History 2112. Um, this is a summer 2016 full term uh, course. So the purpose of this video is just to give you a brief introduction uh, to how this course is going to work. I'm really going to focus on the issue of discussions here. Uh, because that's something that's going to set this course apart from many other online courses you've taken. A lot of the work we're doing uh, will be carried out on the discussion board. Um, and I want to explain why I've chosen to do that. Um, there are a couple of reasons. First of all, what you're going to be discussing are what historians call primary source documents. That is, sources, documents that were written at the time we're studying, by eyewitnesses to history, by people who actually lived through the events that we're going to be talking about in American history after 1877. And I've had many students tell me that using the documents, first of all, is far more interesting than just getting information secondhand out of a textbook. And second, that it really helps them to understand what made these people tick. Um, what were they all about? What was it that they were really trying to accomplish? In other words, to get into the heads of the people who made history um, so as to understand them better. The second reason why I take this approach, especially in my online courses, is that um, there are disadvantages to online courses, obviously, but one of the real big advantages is that uh, it gives you more time to really gather your thoughts and participate fully in a discussion and really go very deep into issues. Um, if we were reading these documents and talking about them in class, you'd have to do everything on the spur of the moment. But um, in this case, you're going to have almost a week um, to really talk to your, uh, your group mates and to come up with excellent answers uh, to these questions and really get down um, to what's very important about these documents. Um, and I mentioned group mates. I have divided the class into three groups. So you're primarily going to be interacting with members of your own group. Um, the first assignment is a self-introduction that you're going to do um, so that you can get to know the members of your group better. Um, of course, all the information about how these discussions will work is laid out, I think, pretty clearly in the syllabus and in the Order of Assignments document in the Start Here folder. But I really want to encourage you to contact me uh, as soon as possible if you're having any problems or um, any difficulties. Um, my email address, my phone number, and my Skype handle are all on the syllabus, so please do take advantage of that. Uh, I'm very happy to help and I'm really committed to making this a true learning experience for all of you um, this summer. Um, so let me give you the names of the people that are going to be in the different groups. Group 1 will consist of Caleb, Alexis Douglas, Alicia Douglas, Ashlyn, Brandon, and Stacy. Um, group 2 will be Alexis Grady. Um, Caitlin Griffin, and please excuse me if I'm ruining anyone's name, uh, you can call and yell at me uh, later. Alan Jones, also Group 2, Ayanna Phelps, Ingrid Renson Evans, and uh, Shivam Shah. Uh, that rounds out Group 2. Group 3 members are Cassandra Smith, Darielle Smith, and Jessica Smith, um, Tanika Tenson, James Tyne, Sarah Walls, and Zachary Worship. Uh, so, um, I think um, the discussions may be a little challenging at first, um, but I think as you get into them, you'll find that they're a lot of fun and a really great way to learn about history. And again, I'm here um, and very happy to help you in any difficulties you might have. Finally, I just want to emphasize that these summer courses are really compressed compared to um, a fall or spring course. Uh, fall or spring courses last about 15 weeks. This one lasts only nine weeks. And so you have to expect more homework and a much more rapid pace of assignments. And you have to be careful not to fall behind, not even a day, because um, that can make it very difficult to catch up in this, this really rapid fire um, summer schedule. So just be aware of that. Um, I'm 
very much looking forward to uh, working with you. I'm delighted to welcome you on board for this course. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions whatsoever. And uh, I'll be talking to you again very soon. Thanks.